Well, each week I'll get out and uh, look at matches and uh, make sure that uh, the selection process is uh, on track. We'll have Nick Cusack looking at all the games and sitting on the bench uh, with Firebirds, so she'll come up against every everyone that's um, you know going to play Firebirds. Nick will see, and Anne Sargent, of course, has come on to replace Carol Sykes, who's not not well at the moment, and Anne uh, will also be um, going to different games. Now the process is that each after each match they send me a report through on players, um, not necessarily the diamonds, could be up and coming players. So we keep a pretty strong hold on, you know, who's performing and who's not. Well, it's usually done in advance. Once I get the um, program, I usually have a look at where I think the targeted matches will be and, um, you know, also knowing if, if Anne's going to one, I can be in Adelaide because there's no one over here for me. Uh, so I'll travel here or Perth. Um, and so I get around into Melbourne, I'll go to Melbourne. So I try and spread it out. Sometimes uh, I could be up to having three games a weekend though. If it's on you know, a, an easy airline flight to go from one to the other, I'll usually pick that up. Um, film all the matches for me and when I get back, um, you know, they're usually sitting on the desk and I'll always pick up. I think that's the fairness that you've got to have for every player. If every, if every player knows that I'm out and I've watched up to you know, eight or nine matches of theirs during the season and, and the ones I missed I've looked on DVD at. You know, I think that's only fair and it's a proper process for selectors, really. Yeah, I have a, a system where they can email me if they wish about certain things. Sometimes um, players might be a little bit down or out of form when they just want a, a, another... Um, person or mentor to speak to other than their own coach, they might want to go a little bit wider than that. So that door is always open for them. Or I might, if I feel a, a, you know that a player is uh, not expanding themselves or could do a few other things, I, I often would email them and give them feedback on how the selectors are seeing it. Not, not about their game plan within their club, because that's not our business to to butt into that situation, but it is for the player if we believe they could be doing a little bit more to help themselves. Uh, usually it's something that comes to mind with myself that I'll bring up um, that I think people would be interested in. I didn't want it to be always just about the ANZ, maybe more of an insight into netball and uh, the way we're looking at it, whether it be um, from a coach's point of view, um, overall on netball might be a topic that's more closer to my heart. But as far as the feedback from the blog, I think Netball Australia keep those away from me. I don't get them, Mountie. So I'm sort of thinking maybe they're not all nice.